and welcome back to OMG Craft. Today we are going to be talking about all of the things that I love in 1.19. Now this has become a tradition every update that I do a video about the things that I love and then a video about the things that I hate about the updates. So uh, please watch both of them. The one about things that I hate should be coming up after this video. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single video. So number one is going to be ancient cities. We're here in an ancient city. I really, really like uh, the design. I like the feel. I like that this is a new game style for Minecraft that uh, there is, you know, like this place that you're supposed to sneak around in. You got to watch out for all the skulk sensors and skulk shriekers and whatnot. The loot isn't super great. And also the warden, in my opinion, uh, I wish that I wish that you could like really actually fight the warden and it had a point to it. But uh, the whole sort of vibe of what the ancient city represents a completely different sort of play style where the developers are really forcing you into playing a specific way to obtain the loot that is inside of an, a, an ancient city, I think is really, really cool. And also I feel like they're getting better and better at making structures in game. Uh, you know, I think back to the very first kind of structures, villages and strongholds, not that interesting. Uh, these ancient cities and even like say the Bastion uh, recently, that sort of stuff, uh, they are really, really cool and detailed and they fit together well. I am just shocked that, you know, this is all just got procedurally generated inside of the game. So number one is ancient cities. Number two is one that uh, I'm not sure everyone else is going to really like think about this when they think of stuff that they love. But in 1.19, the locate command uh, is one of the things that I love. Okay, they've overhauled this command and it is fantastic. For someone who is constantly jumping into the game and searching for a, like a specific thing in creative mode, oh my gosh, this locate command has changed the game. It used to basically just be biomes, right? So you could locate your biome. Now you can locate uh, structures as well and points of interest on top of that. So if I'm like, okay, I really want to find the Woodland Mansion, right? But things like being able to figure out which type of village you want to find. If I want to find a snowy village or plains village, you know, I used to have to just teleport around until you'd find the right one. The next thing that I love is frog lights. Frog lights are the new light source that you can get from frogs when they eat baby magma cubes. So if you got some baby magma cubes, you kind of need to get these from the nether or get your frogs into the nether for this to work. But once you work that out, you have a new light source. And this is just so cool to me. I uh, I like the look. It's much simpler than most of the other lights we had. Really the closest other type of light uh, to this would have been the, the sea lantern. And those were kind of difficult to get. I mean, not that the frog lights are super easy to get or anything, um, but I think that this is really, really uh, a nice addition in to the game. And depending on what color frog uh, eats the magma cube, you can get different colored frog lights from the results. So uh, this is just, I just love light blocks. Anytime there's a new light emitting block, I feel like they're so fun to work with inside of a build. Uh, and it's you know such an important part of your build is to figure out what type of light you're gonna be using in your build so having a lot more textures and options when it comes to light emitting blocks, I'm all about that. Next is the recovery compass. The recovery compass points you in the direction of your latest death. And what you have to do is head to an ancient city and find a whole bunch of echo shards. Let's see if we can find any here before a warden spawns in. So once you have found eight echo shards, then you can combine that with a compass in a crafting table. And that is how you get the recovery compass, which shows the place that you died last. This is awesome. And I am definitely going to want one of these <laughs> in my survival because 
Uh, every once in a while, you know, a, a creeper gets you, and I forget where the heck I was when I died. Uh, and so this will make navigating back to my dead body way, way easier. And next is goat horns. Uh, you know, we've been kind of uh, talking about goat horns for a few updates now, and I'm so happy that they are finally in the game. I do wish that they had kept all of the extra additions to the goat horns, like the copper horns and, and whatnot. Uh, but getting the eight goat horns that we have are uh, pretty awesome. Remember that you do need a goat to like smack into something solid like oak log or stone or coal ore or something like that uh, to break off the horn. And it can be quite difficult to get them to actually like lock on target and try to smack you. Uh, but if you can have one break off a horn, then you are able to use it. And I just feel like uh, they would, they're, they're just awesome to like annoy your friends <laughs> and, uh, and play around is I can't wait to have these on uh, servers and just literally all the time, just people goat horning it up just all over the place. Um, so I think that that is going to be really, really uh, fun is uh, just all of the goat horns that you could possibly have. Um, and now it's crazy because some are just so rare. Uh, first, you need to have a screaming goat to have uh, the last four, I think. I think, it's, I think it is admire, call, yearn, and dream. I think are all of the uh, ones that uh, you need to have a screaming goat for. And just getting a screaming goat seems like that would be a difficult thing. Uh, and then also to snag its horn off the top of its head. That is another difficult thing. So uh, I I could see those being like really difficult. Well, there you go. That is a list of some of the things that I love about Minecraft 1.19, the wild update. Do know that there is a lot of people in the community who don't like the update. And I gotta say in general, I actually do like the update. When I was putting together my everything in 1.19 video, it really hit me how much stuff is actually in here. Granted, a lot of it is kind of delayed from past updates, uh, like the Warden. You know, we thought we were going to get the Warden a long, long time ago. Um, but uh, there is there is quite a lot in here. Uh, I feel like the mangrove biome, uh, the deep dark stuff with all of the ancient cities, um, all of that is, uh, I think, pretty substantial. So in my opinion, I feel like, in general, I'm happy with the update. Make sure to check out my things I hate about Minecraft 1.19 video, which will be uploaded after this. So make sure that you stay subscribed. Please leave a comment down below letting me know what you love from 1.19. Please like this video. I hope that you loved it like I love these features <laughs> in the game. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.